Battery is a major factor when deciding if you should update macOS or not. In this video, we will be seeing which version of macOS has better battery, macOS Sonoma or macOS Sequoia. Now let's get started. The first test we will be doing is a web browser test. If you like it or not, the web browser is one of the most important apps on your Mac. Everybody uses it. I was initially going to be doing benchmarks in the browser, but I ended up doing YouTube as a lot more people use YouTube over benchmarking software. So that means that YouTube must be a lot more maintained. We will be watching a lot of my older videos for two hours straight, and we'll be using a Chromium-based browser because the software is near identical on both Sonoma and Sequoia, making the test more fair. Now if we ran the test in Safari, I'm sure that Safari on Sequoia would beat Sonoma because Apple taking all the optimizations of WebKit and utilizing them right away. And after about 18 minutes into the test, Sonoma is the first to drop from 100 to 99%. So surely Sequoia will win this challenge, right? And 23 minutes into the test, Sequoia has finally dropped from 100 to 99. But we're not done. This video isn't about which macOS will get from 100 to 99 first. This is a full battery test. We got 99 more percents on both macOS versions, so we are going to finish this test. That's right, we're going down to zero on both of them, even if I got to do this test four times on Sonoma, which I actually had to do, unfortunately. Now, the reason we're doing a YouTube test for two hours instead of one hour, like we will with other tests, is because the browser consumes the least amount of energy out of any of the tests that we will do. The other tests that we'll do definitely consume a lot more battery. Also, did you know a lot of your favorite apps might actually be Google Chrome in disguise? There's this popular framework that I absolutely despise, by the way, called Electron. And it's a lazy way to port your app from the web to something that just feels native. Popular apps like Canva, Figma, Notion, and even the user interface is by drivers with my Logitech mouse. Why does my mouse drivers need a web app? I do not know, but Electron also lets you do some native machine code. And is it just a web app wrapper? All right, one hour into the test, we can see that Sonoma is at 88% while Sequoia is at 89%. Still not that far off and just like a sports game, anything can happen. Sequoia could fumble the ball and lose, but we will see what happens next. Also, did you know that Apple helped shape the modern web with WebKit? Google Chrome's web browser called Chromium is actually based off of WebKit. The only popular modern browser that has not had Apple's influence yet is actually Firefox. Also, the reason why Apple makes emphasis about WebKit every year at WWDC is because Google and Apple are actually trying to compete for the fastest web browser. Google Chrome is usually faster in March every year, while Safari is actually faster in July. While it's not much of a speed difference, they're actively trying to compete for the fastest web browser. Also, isn't it amazing that I have improved my videos so much in six months? Looking back at a lot of my older videos, I can see how much I actually evolved. Alright, and it looks like both macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia have tied at 72%. We will now see if gaming on it will be more intensive. Now the only game I really play on my Macs is Roblox. This is because I've been playing it for 8 years at this point, and if you hate Roblox, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying, you need to find better Roblox games. I agree that a ton of Roblox games are absolutely terrible, and a lot of them are just pure cash grabs. My favorite Roblox game is actually Tower Defense Simulator, but I'll also like to show you a Roblox game that a friend has made that is super underrated. Chocoblox Factory Tycoon. Think of it like a tycoon and a simulator combined together, but the pace is much faster than a greedy cash grab simulator. The game is simple. Buy chocolate droppers at stores and then place new ones. You can then sell chocolate that the droppers give you and get even more rewards. Now this isn't sponsored or anything, it's just an underrated tycoon that I think you should play and support a smaller Roblox developer today. And we are just doing circles in Chocoblox Factory Tycoon right now. This should push resources in our computer because we are actively looking around at certain things. Also, Roblox pushes the CPU and GPU quite a bit, so this is kind of a hybrid test. Now, I will leave Chocoblox Factory Tycoon down in the description down below and in pinned comment. And I hope you are able to play it today, because it's actually kind of fun. And we are at the 30 minute mark, and it looks like both Sonoma and Sequoia are still both neck and neck at 60% battery right now. Now we are about halfway through the test, and this is not as intensive as we will get. But this is definitely a good sign that we might actually tie here. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see if that's true or not. Now, fun fact about the battery on your MacBook is that the battery health in the settings app shows the lowest it has ever been. Not what it is currently. Battery health goes up and down all the time, and it's pretty unpredictable if its health goes up or not. 
Usually if it goes back up, some parts of the battery have temporarily resurrected from the dead. This MacBook is currently at 89% battery health. Also, I might as well say the specs to you. This is an M1 MacBook Air with 8GB of RAM and 512GB of storage with an 8-core GPU. This used to be my primary Mac, but this is now my Mac for school and if I need to look at a database while coding. Alright, now is the end of the Roblox test and it looks like Sonoma is at 49% and Sequoia has just dropped to 48% pretty much just now. The next test we will do is the Cinebench test, and we will repeatedly run CPU tests for an hour, essentially stretching our CPU as much as possible. Now this is simulating what users tend to do if they are doing very intensive tasks, including compiling code or any other CPU test that may use the CPU power as much as possible. Now even though we hit start at about the same time, Sonoma started first, but that's alright as it has not been a very long time since we started. Now speaking of starting at the exact same time, why don't we all hit the subscribe button at the exact same time because only 2.1% of you guys who stumble upon my videos are actually subscribed. So let's hit the subscribe button in 3, 2, 1, and there we go. You should all now be subscribed. I have a ton of future videos planned, so if you didn't subscribe, it's not too late. Subscribe increases the chance that you'll find one of my future videos. Now, in a previous video of mine, we have seen that macOS Sequoia has won the performance test in macOS 15.2. But will it win the battery test? MacOS Sequoia has been a much smaller update compared to Sonoma or even the lengths of Ventura. Though I believe before recording this video that MacOS Sequoia would win this test. We're getting closer to the end and we will see who actually wins. Oh, so now macOS Sonoma is now 2% ahead of Sequoia. Sonoma is now at 22% while Sequoia is at 20. It will be interesting to see who actually wins this race, Battle of the MacOS's. Just know Sonoma could catch up and die first. Now what I'm hoping is that in a few years from now, we won't need battery tests to see which Mac OS is more efficient with power. Solid slate batteries exist, and it makes the current lithium ion batteries look very weak. While still very expensive right now, they surely will keep devices charged longer, and who knows, we may not need the battery health feature in Mac OS anymore as solid slate batteries last a very long time. And uh oh, it looks like we have gotten our first low battery warning with Sequoia, at about 3 hours and 42 minutes. Can Sequoia figure out how to stay efficient? We shall see. So Sonoma is still 2% ahead, but anything can still happen. And fast forwarding 3 minutes ahead, macOS Sonoma has gotten a low battery warning. Now it's only a matter of time to which one will die first. You guys waited long enough, so let's speed up to the very end. And the macOS version to die first is macOS Sequoia. Now how much longer will macOS Sonoma last for? Let's find out. And the answer is another 3 minutes. So that concludes the video. macOS Sonoma has won, right? Remember that I said I need to record macOS Sonoma four times? Well, out of those three failed video recordings, macOS Sequoia has won while the other failed attempts were not completed. I'm saying this now that both macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia has tied. I'm sure if I ran the test a few more times, macOS Sequoia will win some of the attempts, but not all of them. Now, what if you are having battery issues? Which I'm presuming why a lot of you requested this video to begin with. Perhaps you may have updated an app and may have been more resource intensive, or just use up more battery in general. Your battery health might be degrading, and while I'm not blaming Apple Intelligence on this, Apple Intelligence could be a major factor why your battery may be affected. Apple Intelligence is still a brand new feature, and Apple still says it's a beta feature. I seem to have no battery issues at all on the latest macOS Sequoia. But anyways, thanks for watching, comment and subscribe, share this with your friends, and play Chocoblocks Factory Tycoon down in the description and pinned comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!